We'll start by making a perfect P. I call this a perfect P because that is the shape that I want to start with in making a loop. So the way to make one is we're going to start at this other end of the wire. This is just some very soft two millimeter aluminum wire. And I want to make my loop about this size on this tool. So I'm going to grasp the wire between the jaws. No wire sticking out. For example, that would be a lot of wire sticking out. I just want it inside the jaws as much as possible. I want to feel it and not feel any wire out of there. Once you've got that, just start pushing the wire against the jaw. Push the wire all the way around until it meets. Open the jaw, rotate it back, and you'll have to give it another little push. And take it off of the tool and you have a pretty perfectly round. Sometimes you'll find that this spot right here is sort of flat. You can just fix that by nipping it off and just put it back on the tool and push it around again. And now I have a pea that's got a nice rounded shape. It's got a nice uh, round end to the loop. And that gives us the perfect P. Now to turn the perfect P into that eye pin shape, we just need to do one simple thing. Just take a chain nose plier. Any, any chain nose will do. Just you want a smooth edge and a nice sharp tip. And I'm going to grasp my loop with one tip of the jaw inside the loop and one on the outside. Let me get that in the clear frame for you. And then just push it a little bit with my thumb to create a little bend. So now I have a little bend and this loop is centered on that piece of wire. The reason for that is we want to create something like this. Let me zoom in on that for you and uh, brighten it up. We want to have a loop on either side of the bead. I've exaggerated it in this example just so you can see what's going on here. So we want to take this shape to, on both sides of the bead rather than this shape. If we just go with this shape, we get something like this, a lopsided, a lopsided loop. It's not going to hang even on our eventual piece of jewelry. What we want to create is something like this. So our loop is centered on this piece of wire so my beads can sit nice and centered. 